Hey, what's up, chitheads? Big Dog here. Today, we're going to do a bit of commuting on the Five Star. I have a 12-mile round-trip commute I make in most mornings. And uh, guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the fresh landscaping my building has. Anyways, guys, that's enough small talk. Let's get going. Come on. And we're off. So my morning commute is 12 miles round trip, which we can easily make on the Five Star, no matter what type of riding we're doing. Hurry. We're starting off in pedal assist three, cruising around 22 miles an hour now. Part of the joy of commuting on your bike is you don't have to stick to the same boring old roads that you ride all the time in your car. Nope. I like to find little uh, shortcuts and do some exploring. So we're not gonna be taking the most direct route. And uh, by the way, the first stop today is the gym. And then from the gym, I go to work. So I typically, when I'm on my bike, I find a different, I vary the course I go just a little bit every day. And this is one of the first little shortcuts I take in the morning. Check it out. Ooh, some big ruts here. So like I said, I like to find all these little offshoots and shortcuts and then I've started to find that there's a lot of little connectors that'll take you from one neighborhood to the next and stuff that you wouldn't see if you're normally driving a car around. So you end up getting to see quite a bit of your neighborhood that you didn't even know was there when you uh, start riding your e-bike around. And another awesome part of riding my bike to the gym in the morning is by the time I start my workout, I'm already warmed up. I'm ready to go. So being that this is a 12 mile commute, I can be as aggressive as I want with the throttle and I'm not worried about range whatsoever. But to that being said, I am gonna be pedaling because we can multitask guys. It's great to multitask when you're on your bike, get a workout, get the blood going and have some fun. Kind of breaks my heart when people get these bikes and they just use the throttle. It's like, come on guys, get some, ex get some work in there full panic right now as I realize I don't have my phone so hopefully I left it at home and hopefully it didn't fall out when I was doing my little jump back there I think it's at home guys I think it's at home positive vibes oh gosh Man, this bike is fast guys if you want to just zip around in a hurry go over whatever types of terrain no worries at all this is a good choice for that crisis averted guys I left my phone on the charger but nevertheless, mini heart attack has been avoided. Now, guys, we got to go to the gym, but now we're behind the clock and we got to make some time. We'll take things up a notch on this ride. So we're going to do it a little faster this time. 28 miles an hour through the field. We're going to avoid the ruts. We're going to take a different route. Oh, what do you say? We got to climb right up this wall, guys. No problem at all. Whew. Nearly clipped my handlebar. I'm getting some cardio, guys. Feels good, I can already tell. I'm getting the blood pumping, pedaling. Heart rate's elevated a little bit. This would be where it'd be nice to have my Strava actually working. But unfortunately, my Strava is so unreliable, I can't count on it. Guys, I'm still gonna stay with Pedal Assist 3 because I wanna get a workout. This is kind of, this is my cardio. If I drive to the gym, I do cardio on the machine. If I ride to the gym, this is my cardio. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of some shortcuts through the neighborhoods here. One of the things I like about this is this, to me, this is fun. When I stop riding to the gym for a while, when I stop riding in the morning, I kind of notice my attitude changes and I kind of start dreading the ride. I was like, oh, I'd rather just be lazy and drive. But once I start, once I get back in the routine of riding, like within a mile or two of leaving my house, I'm like, man, this is fun. It's fun and you get exercise, so guys, it's a great habit to get into. Ride your bike more often. I don't know about you guys, write it in the comments, but it's hard to be in a bad mood when you're riding your bike. Unless you get a flat. Unless you get a flat or your battery runs out and you're riding against the wind. Yeah, that can suck. But here's one of the, uh, here's one of those little shortcuts I was talking about. Notice how quiet the bike is. I do not have my chainstay protector on yet. It's gonna show up today. So we're probably gonna scratch up the chainstay just a little bit more, but I'd rather ride the bike than worry about scratching up the chainstay. All right, we're coming up on our second big shortcut here. This is a busy road, we gotta slow down, check the traffic. 
Oh, and we got a green light. Oh, I'm just gonna bomb right through this field, guys. Whew, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. That was spooky. <laughs> Whoa. Rear end slid a little bit there because these things are so overgrown right now with weeds. It's gonna be nice in about a month from now. All these weeds will be gone. And here's one of my favorite parts of this ride here. As we come around this corner here and we get to hit this big berm. Check this out. Here it is, guys. Hit the big berm. This turkey is trying to fight me here because all her babies are in the bush over here. You can see the little baby. Hey, look, I'm not trying to hurt no one. You see the little baby turkey? Okay. Hey, we're good. We're good. No more stress, guy. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Do you guys have to fight turkeys on your morning commutes? Okay, I think we're done here. This turkey's going the wrong way now. Uh, this turkey can move pretty quick. I don't know if it just got out of the way. And it's gone. One thing you'll start to notice when you start riding these trails, especially year round, the condition of these trails changes so drastically from season to season. So like I came over that hill and I started sliding because it was uh, the weeds were overgrown. And typically that's just never an issue, but we've had rain a little longer into the season this year and there is now weeds there. So I almost ate it, but we made it. Woo. It gets scary when the weeds are overgrown because you can't see what's underneath. And this field right here is a uh, number one exporter of goat heads for the entire area. So I came through here one time and I had probably 40 goat heads in the tires. So this is exactly a scenario where you need to put flat out or some sort of flat protection in your tires. We're cooking right along. This hill right here is pretty steep, but just throttled up it absolutely no problem. Typically that's a downshift scenario, but we're powering through it today because I got battery to spare and I got places to be. This bike hauls ass. Pedal assist three and 30. This is another reason I like this cadence sensor system on these bikes because you can go as fast as you want in any pedal assist level, where the other ones will just give you a hard cut off at a certain mile per hour. So, you, so you're forced to up the power if you want to go faster. This one, you can just pedal faster. It's much more natural. And we're back onto the bike trail. I'm gonna do a bit of a hill climb section here and uh, kind of a top speed run. I tell you guys, I'm all warmed up now. Now I'm ready to work out. And I'm gonna be a Riding my bike to the gym, it has a few multifaceted uh, benefits package to that. And one is I save money on gas. Gas is extremely expensive right now, over $5 a gallon in California. And I get exercise and B or C, I typically will stop at Walmart after I go to the gym because it's right next to it and end up shopping. So when I ride my bike to the gym, I don't go to Walmart. Henceforth, I save money at Walmart, I save money on gas, and I get exercise. So tell me, guys, that's a, that's a winning package all around. Here's the steep little hill section here. I'm gonna just blast up this. I'm gonna go throttle only. Let's see if we can do throttle only. This is really steep. It's slowing down, but we're still doing it. 14. 13, 12, holding it through, 11 now, we're almost there. Oh wow, it did it. It did it, guys. If you see, if you see this in person, that is an extremely steep section of trail. But here is a downhill section, and we'll probably get over 40 here. Let's see. Forty, forty-one, forty-three, forty-four. 41, 43, 44. I saw 44, but I was uh, kind of looking where I was going. This route I'm taking to the gym is probably a good mile and a half longer than the direct route. I just realized I was still in pedal assist five. Man, this bike feels so fast in pedal assist five. 
So this is a brand new section of bike trail. You can see here it's got concrete, which just means this is a very expensive, but check it out up here. Look at that view, guys. Look at the view. Not a bad thing to see on the way to the gym, is it? Check this out. This trail section right here goes right onto the ridge of this, these hills through here. So it's pretty cool. And it's brand new. I don't think many people know about it. So you don't see too many people up here. And as you can see, everything's extremely overgrown. It's so overgrown, I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go. But there's a nice little path here now. We can go whatever way we want on these bikes, guys. That's what these things absolutely excel at. Going anywhere you can see a path, you can most likely go. Like right here, there's a path here. Let's go here. Whew. Another nice payout here. Look at that view. It's Mount Diablo in the distance over there. And we're going down the hill, guys. It's a brand new park without homeless people. So we're at uh, showing 7.2 miles on the odometer, and that's after I even went back home. So yeah, we're uh, definitely not taking the most efficient way in. If I take the most direct route, it's about 5.8 miles or so. But you know what, guys? Sometimes I get to the gym and I'm let down. It's like, you know, I was having so much fun on my bike. I should have just stayed out riding. All right, we're going to be downshifting all the way because this hill section right here is pretty steep. So my area, as people have pointed out in the comments, I have a lot of everything. I've got a lot of hills. We've got a lot of flowing trails. We have waterfront. So there's a, for bikes, this area is really nice. And the sad part is I think a lot of people that live out here have never been on the bike trails or utilized half of this stuff. So it makes me kind of sad. But guys, that's one of the things. You get an e-bike, you're gonna become like a little urban explorer and find out that you can traverse your town on your bike. And if you see a hill, you wanna go up that hill, chances are you'll be able to do it. Or if you were on a normal bike or if you were hiking, you'd probably avoid doing that because it'd be too much work. But with the e-bike, you'll make easy work of it. And we're gonna be driving, doing this downhill section here. Get my weight back. Not going to be going too fast because uh, I don't want to go to the hospital. I want to go to the gym. All right. Easy money. We are rolling into the gym. 8.3 miles on the odometer plus, you know, another two or so that was unaccounted for. So we got about 10 miles in this morning. 10 miles of it's pretty aggressive riding. And it's time to lock this bad boy up. Let me show you how I do that. So luckily for me, my gym has this nice bike rack here. Snug it right up here. First lock we use, the Hip Lock D100. This bad boy is 300 bucks. It's graphene infused. This thing is resistant to grinder wheel attacks, which is the most important thing. So if somebody's gonna cut through this lock, it's gonna take them multiple grinder wheels and probably multiple batteries. So it's gonna give you quite a bit of time, but if a thief has enough time, they will get your bike. But you got to make it as difficult as possible for them. My biggest uh, complaint with this lock is, as you can see, it's not very big. So you stick it on the rack, and there's just not a but there's not there's not a whole lot of extra room to work with. But I do feel I do feel pretty secure locking my bike up with this. Granted, I'm not leaving it out here all day and night. So I got the cable. Cable goes to the front wheel, back to the frame. So there we go, we got the hip lock going through the frame, cable through the front wheel, but we're not done yet. I have this old school kryptonite lock here. As a little bonus, I lock up my helmet with the kryptonite lock. And by the way, guys, on every, almost every single video I post, I get questions about the helmet. This is a Remy Retrospect helmet. I bought this on Amazon. I got my custom unrestricted sticker there, but if you guys are interested, I have a link for this in the description of this video. I like this. It's got nice styrofoam shell inside. It meets bicycle safety standards and uh, it looks decent. This doesn't look dorky. So I really like this helmet. Kryptonite in the back, hip lock D100 in the frame, cable in the front. 
I feel this thing's locked up pretty well. Now, let's go work out. Okay, we're all done at the gym and the bike is still here as expected. Now it's just a reverse. So unfortunately, I got a bit carried away on the way in today and have to cut the workout a little short because I start work at 10 o'clock and it's 9.40 now. But I did want to point out something new I added to the pack and that is this microfiber towel. Because guys, I want to make sure this bike stays nice and shiny while we're out on the trail. Can't have it looking dirty, can we? So get yourself some nice microfiber towels for the kit. We are back on the road and definitely running low on time. If I'm gonna be riding along and filming these rides to work and to the gym, I'm gonna to need to start leaving early. Take this little shortcut here. And while I do have to take a pretty direct route home, I do am gonna make time for a little detour here. Let's go to the skate park, guys. Dropping in. <laughs> now these bikes are definitely not well suited for skate parks. Do a little staircase here. Come back up the other side. Gotta be careful on those guys. Ask me how I know. Oh, do we do the swimming pool? Oh yeah. Oh shoot. Woo! Too steep. How do we get out of this pool now? Really did it this time, guys. Oh man, this paint is slick. Dang it. I have no traction with my shoes. damage report okay don't go to the skate park that sucked don't do that guys moving right along so catching my breath from that little uh, high intensity workout at the skate park that was a little uh, exercise and problem solving there I had to really figure out how to get out of there the paint was so slick on the walls I couldn't get traction with my shoes and keep pushing up, so I had to get a running start. That was quite the workout, guys. A little more cardio this morning than I was anticipating. And luckily, I scraped up the pedals a little bit, but I think that's the only damage report on the bike. So guys, don't follow my examples. It's what's nice about having a shorter commute. You can, uh, you can use the power with reckless abandon, which is what I've been pretty much doing. I said before in the last video I was going to test if this thing got pedal strikes, but I forgot to do that. And uh, I can hit the pedals, but this it's not very easy on this bike. So yeah, you can still get pedal strikes if you're leaning or pedaling through corners, <coughs> but it's not doing it as easy as uh, the bike that should not be named. Not a bad commute though, right guys? Could be worse. Could be in traffic right now I mean, of course i've narrowly avoided bodily injury a couple times today but you know that's from personal choice that's not you can ride a lot safer than i do as a matter of fact i hope you do all right guys we made it to work just in time so what did we learn today guys it's great this bike is a great commuting option if your commute's not too long you know i had a lot of fun i got chased by turkeys i did some trail riding I, uh, I got marooned at a skate park. Guys, by the way, what we did learn also is don't take your bike to a skate park. And uh, anyways, guys, that's enough small talk. I gotta get to work here now. Oh, what's the sign say? It says, use coupon code CHIT100 to save yourself $100 off your very own five star. Anyways, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.